before I start, breast cancer is a silent killer. My talk will be conducted in English, um, Chinese, I think, uh, not necessary, right? So it's going to be English, Malay, a bit of Chinese here and there, right? Next. Okay, I, I'm sure that you have, you all always see this pink ribbon. This ribbon can be many colors, right? Can be pink, can be red, can be what else? Blue. Blue. A blue color is stand for what? <coughs> pink is for breast cancer. Red is for, I suppose, HIV. Then what about blue? Blue is for prostate cancer. All oh, right. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. I support it. So the pink ribbon, the universal symbol for breast or breast cancer awareness. Next, I like to walk around, and then I'm going to involve the audience. Okay. So I hope you don't mind. It's something like you can talk show. Okay. okay the brief outline is. Okay, the number one is what is breast cancer? I'm going to talk about what are the risk factors, types of breast cancer, early detection, safe life, of course. But there are some truths and myths about breast cancer. I collected all these truths and myths from my, all my uh, talks. Because I give talks in slang or dredging, I give talks in uh, Western dredging, a lot of dredging, dredging, and then a lot of government bodies. So these are the questions from the audience. Of course, we, I'll, I'll, I'll take some questions from you if you all have it question later on in the Q&A session. Next. Okay, let's go to the worldwide, okay? Internationally, breast cancer. Most common cancer among women, right? Most common cause, cancer related death also among women. 1.1 million, I think now it's definitely slightly more. There's only 1.1 million, I guess. It's more than that. Are newly diagnosed with breast cancer annually, yeah? I'm talking about yearly. I'm not talking about 10 years, I'm not talking about 10 years. 10% of them are the new cancer cases, um, of course, female cases, but breast cancer do involve male. Because now, you know, uh, ministry, we want to involve the husband's side. Later on, there's one slide on that. Okay, next. Uh, okay, breast cancer worldwide, steadily rising trend, no doubt. Okay, we talk about US first. Every three minutes, one woman diagnosed cancer. Um, three minutes, bah, 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 three minutes. Yeah. Okay, every 11 minutes dies of breast cancer, but this is in the US, huh? I'm not talking about Malaysia yet. So, uh, 30,000 women and 200 men, men, sorry, 200 men. Fortunately, men are involved also. So they can, men, right? Uh, they know to breast cancer in the UK. Next. Okay, this is the female, uh, I'm talking about uh, races. Huh? Okay, we have uh, whites, we have African American, we have Asian, we have Hispanic, okay? So you can see the red color is the incidence, the, the blue color is mortality. So uh, you can see the whites getting more. Right? Next. Okay, you can see Asia also picking up 33%. Europe 31, North America 22, uh, Africa 4, and South America 7. Okay, next. Okay, what about Malaysia? Okay, everyone is very concerned because now we talk about you uh, internationally, now we talk about uh, Malaysia. Okay, again, same thing, very common. Life risk is 1 in 20, unfortunately. The Chinese, 1 in 14, the most. Indian, followed by Indian, 1 in 15. And Malay is 1 in 24. The peak incident is in the range of 15 to 59. This is the new facts that I take a few months ago. And every year, around 4,000 patients, okay, with age range 35 to 60. Okay, next. Okay, a little bit of data. From 2002 to 2003, it's increasing from 30% to 31%. Thanks. Okay, next. Okay, uh, this is picked up in UM by 2004. You see, most of them are in stage 2. Right? The red color, the maroon color is stage 2. Now we want to reduce this and go to this. Why is stage one? But it's quite difficult. That's why we have this all campaign. Campaign, sorry. We want to raise the awareness. Okay, we need to All right. Next. Fire survival rate. We got a lot of students here, right? When we talk about one uh, mortality and morbidity, we talk about five years. We just compare in five years. Okay. Of course, stage zero, best, hundred percent. One, hundred percent or so. The bigger you go, that means what? The potential of survival in fact in five years will be lower, right? Common sense. This is happening in all the cancer, right? 
So five years also, like if you're younger, 81%, you're older, you get it? Higher and higher. Next, US also, you can see the rise, the cases, okay, from 50 now to 350. I guess, I got a, I got a friend working in the US, he said now it's even going higher up, maybe 500 to 600. Okay, next. Okay, okay just to show you the vital statistics in Malaysia, the dates from cancer, Breast 26, now we're going to 33. We have lung. These, all these are involved in women. Eh? Cervix, colorectal, but breast you the most, the deadliest one. Alright? Okay, next. Okay, what about risk factor? What is risk factor? Can we ask some questions from the students? What is risk factor? Factor carrying risk. What do you understand by risk factor? Miss, you are? Um, uh, my name? No, of course. Uh, I'm Darling, uh, an US year student. Yeah. I think this factor is the factor that contributes to the formation of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got one mark for me. So, look, just, just, just to get a response from the audience, because you are a medical student, so you know what is risk factor. What about the public? What is risk factor? You know, factor. In Malay, we call a factor factor yang berkenaan cancer yang lebih. In Chinese, we say that gao feng xian de. Right? So, in English, we call risk factor. Read, you go to genetic. Genetic is the worst. Okay, family history, mother, relative with breast cancer, you've got the chances higher, right? Then all this BRCA1 and BRCA2, these are all from the genetics. Okay, then you go to some hormonal problem like early menarche, late menopause, gnarly parents, hormone replacement. Early menarche means when you first have menses, you know? Okay, let's ask. Any medical student here? Uh, question. Medical student. <coughs> Just now I thought some. What, okay, what is menarche? Yeah? Excuse me. Menarche, yeah. Uh, first, first time I'm having the menses. Ah, so the first, first menses, first period, menarche. 